اخر ویوز کریستروپیک ایز هیپناگوگیک پلوسینیشنز آف دا نارکلیپسی یو نو ناو دا نارکلیپسی ایز ا کرونیک ڈیزیز آف دا سینٹرل نروس سسٹم اینڈ دا سمپٹمز انکلوڈ لائک ایکسیسو ڈے ٹائم سلیپینس or uh, sudden loss of muscle tone, which is known as uh, cataplexy, or uh, distorted uh, perceptions, like known as the uh, hypnagogic hallucinations, and the inability to move or talk, which is known as sleep paralysis, or the disturbed uh, natural sleep and uh, uh, automatic behavior, you know. Now, The narcolepsy usually begins in teenagers or the young adults and affects both sexes equally. And the abnormalities in the structure or the function of the particular group of the nerve cells in the brain called uh, uh, hypocretin, you know, hypocretin neurons uh, are thought to play a role in the development of the narcolepsy, you know. And the diagnosis uh, is based on the clinical evaluation and the specific questionnaires and the sleep logs or the diaries and the results of the sleep laboratory tests known as the polysonography you know, and the multiple sleep uh, latency tests. So these are the multiple tools which are used to diagnose the narcolepsy. And the treatment, uh, once diagnosed, then the treatment uh, options for the narcolepsy include like drug and behavioral modification therapies and uh, disease specific education of the patient and the family members, you know. And the treatment uh, is individualized depending on the types and uh, the severity and the cause of the, uh, you know. And uh, uh, the the life com uh, conditions of the patients and uh, it also depends on the life conditions and the specific goals of the therapy you know. and uh, the optimal management usually takes weeks to months to achieve uh, required uh, uh, and uh, to achieve the goal you know and it requires the continued communication among the physician the patients and the family members and others you know so there's a close coordination needed between the physician and the uh, patient uh, and the families, you know. And uh, uh, alerting medications uh, are used to treat uh, this excessive daytime sleepiness. And uh, they include like uh, Ritalin, and, uh, and which has the CNS stimulants. So the function of this medication is that it decreases the sleepiness and improves the alertness, you know. And uh, Nodofinil and uh, Novigel, you know. So they have uh, altering effects similar to those of the traditional stimulants that uh, has less uh, undesirable side effects, you know. And uh, anti-cataplectic medications are also used to treat the cataplexy or um, uh, hypnagogic hallucinations and the sleep paralysis, you know. And the uh, tricyclic antidepressants uh, are often effective in controlling the cataplexy, you know, and but also frequently produce side effects uh, that limit uh, their use. And uh, selective uh, uh, serotonin, which is uh, a root take inhibitors, you know, is also useful in the treatment of cataplexy, you know. And uh, the side effects are milder, and the sodium oxalate, which is uh, uh, it comes with the name of uh, uh, Zoire. Uh, it's a medication that is uh, anti-cataphylactic effects. It also improves the disturbed uh, nacro sleep. Uh, now, the behavioral approaches uh, to treating the uh, narcolepsy includes uh, like um, est establishing a structured uh, sleep-wake cycle and uh, planned naps, you know, and involve diet, exercise, and occupational uh, marriage and the family counseling. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.